Hey guys, Dennis here with Vog Games. I'm joined by Joshua Vayers, all the way in South Africa. Yeah, how how are you doing over there? It's getting hot here. Remember who I told you it was like super rainy and stuff? Now it's like starting oh, yeah. to get hot here. Oh, dude, it's freezing here. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's start well. It's weird. We had a couple days uh, during the week that was kind of hot, which was interesting. But it's been storming since Thursday for the most part. Hmm. Yeah, we yeah, had storms pretty, like, like, like for we, us. Had a, we had a rough. Yeah, we had a rough storm on Thursday. It's been pretty much raining ever since, kind of thing. But Thursday was rough with the winds and the and the and the rain and stuff. Yeah, we had like three or four months of just rain, like almost all the time, and it was weird for us here in LA. It was like, well, that's good though. At least fucking California needs it, you know. Yeah, but from what I read, like they're only able to save like half of it, so like half of it's like going to waste. So, well, that's annoying. Well, yeah. still half half is better than nothing, you know. Yes. Yes, for sure. It's like super green here, which is unusual. <laughs> like oh, the yeah. mountains and all that stuff. I saw um, there was a super bloom, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so here we are uh, talking about uh, games and gaming news. We're kind of getting into that area where we're going to start getting big releases and uh, big news. Because, you know, first of all, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but, you know, Dead Island 2 just came out. Obviously not a huge release, but a decent sized release. Next week, we're going to get a uh, Jedi Survivor. We're also going to talk about... And then we're going to have um, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're also going to talk about... That's coming out in May. And then you're talking about like all the kind of... Even though E3 and another thing we're going to talk about, the death of E3. We talked about it last time, yeah. but this time it's like more um, a, a definite. Um, around that cycle now, it's just like Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. They're just going to do their online streaming events at the same time as E3 should have been. And that's where we're getting all this news about future games coming later this year or next year. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about over the next uh, few months. Uh, I feel like we're kind of getting into the st yeah. start of the the summer season. And then uh, isn't uh, what what is uh, Jeff Keighley's summer thing called? Oh, I forget about that. The Summer Games Fest? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I know at the yeah. end of the year it's the Game Awards, but like, so his is going to start as well. So there's just going to be a lot. Of oh yeah, that's right. Because he game did his news. own digital thing around the same time. Yeah, that's right. I forget about that. Yeah. Um. So let's talk about the biggest news was we got this kind of final trailer for Legend of the Zelda, uh, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, you know, it's it's releasing on Switch May twelfth, twenty twenty three. Um, I'll just give some brief thoughts because I haven't played the, the Breath of the Wild yet, which I heard is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, watching this, I mean, one, the trailer is a very Japanese <laughs> trailer, you know? Um, the style yeah. is very uh, like a Japanese like uh, RPG style, but it looks great. Um, it makes me want to get a Switch. I know I'm not going to buy a Switch. Um, I actually have to save money to because i i think i told you i'm making my short film and like you know that thing oh yeah everything costs money and so yeah i'm not gonna even though this looks great this looks right up my alley you know um big open world a lot of cool like combat and puzzles and rpg mechanics along with action um but yeah this is nice it's like a almost a four minute trailer which is funny you know most trailers at least for movies or standard it's just is, so much to show off you know yeah. what i mean so many mechanics and things. Yeah. So what, what's your take on it? I'm excited. So the trailer hyped me up. But the thing that hyped me up the most was some gameplay they released a while ago showing mm -hmm. off some of the new mechanics and things that you can, like, build together and stuff. And that was that was really... that That's what blew me away. Um, this looks epic. I am a little bit worried about performance issues because yeah. the Switch is old. <laughs> and this looks like a really big game. <laughs> Not only is it you know? old, when it came out, it was already old tech you know so exactly yeah and look the legend of zelda runs great like the breath of the wild runs fantastic on the switch it purrs on that it was essentially like designed for that console you know what i mean mm -hmm. even though it had a wii u release as well um this looks great look the only people like uh the only reason i worried is because i know when they did the uh the recent pokemon game which is open world very resource heavy a lot of graphical glitches and error but uh with the whole cell shaded thing uh I don't know, man. I'm excited for it. The reason I'm worried is just because uh, there's a lot of verticality, like with the whole sky islands kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a lot to, to load in. But I don't think they'll drop the ball. You know, the Pokemon company is a different... They're a different company than from Nintendo. Nintendo can't mm-hmm. drop the ball on their own game on their own system, you know. Well, it's their flagship title. Let's be let's be exactly you know, yeah. It's like flagship title on the Switch, and then you know if they want to keep things going, when whenever let's say they release a Switch Two or a Switch Pro or whatever they're going to call it in the future, they're going to want to make another sequel to this, right? So, yeah, I'm gonna probably get the game a week after release. Mm-hmm. Why a because, week after? Because the Diablo beta comes out the same uh-huh. day. <laughs> there's there's one more beta left for the Di- for Diablo okay. four, and it's uh it's the same day as the release of Breath of the Wild. That's when they yeah. start the next beta. So I'm definitely I'm gonna love Legend of Zelda. Don't get me wrong, but that beta is only uh it's only one left. <laughs> yeah. Um, At least until the game comes out. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to say about this before we move on? No, man. Just hype. There's a lot of hype yeah. around this. I'm excited for it. It's 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 been a while since I got to play a game that got me really excited for having a Switch. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I've been worried for a while. Like, it comes in handy, especially with the power cuts and stuff. But like, I've been playing a lot of older games and haven't been feeling like I've been getting much use out of it. But with this game coming out. I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of my Switch, you know? And probably potential probably pr- potential f- front runner for Game of the Year. I mean, I know it's not out yet, oh, but yeah. I'm just guessing on, based on the, the pedigree of it, I feel like I, this year so far, there's only been one, like Hogwarts Legacy, I think, could be considered. Yeah. I, don't th- I don't think it'd win, but I think it could get in the It'll mix. It'll be considered, yeah. Uh, despite the controversy, but I, I feel like the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will probably be the front. Runner. I wonder if they took any. I, I mean, I doubt it, but you know how From Software took a lot of influence yes. from them. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but they t- they did take a lot in terms of the open world aspect and like the mm-hmm. exploration and how that works. I wonder if uh, Breath of uh, Legend of Zelda took any infor- uh, inspiration from Elden Ring. You know what I mean? Who knows? Knowing them, probably not. But it'd be cool yeah. to. It's just a, a question to think of. You know. Yeah. Um, all right, let's move on. So also what was announced was not announced, but more uh, trailers shown for the Final Fantasy 16 at the state of play. Um, real quick, I don't know if I've ever said this before on the show uh, or I told you, but like I've never really played a Final Fantasy game. Like I've played like little bits and pieces that like, like someone else had the game, but I've never yeah. like sat down and be like oh, okay i'm gonna play final fantasy i just i didn't really own a playstation the, my first playstation was a ps3 and i bought it at the end of the cycle oh that like, was also like not the best final fantasy era to be honest yeah and i bought it mainly like the, the for, games were a bit meh yeah i was playing you know the last of us and uh, you know uncharted and you know spider-man and all, all those games for when i got the ps3 and the ps4 um, so I just never Final Fantasy. I never got, especially because I think it was turn based in the beginning. Um, this looks yeah. like the first kind of Final Fantasy that looks very, what's the word for it? Um, very broad. Like it seems like with the real time combat, they're saying like with the storylines, you don't have to like have played the other ones before. Um, it just yeah, every you Final know, Fantasy is its own thing, which is tight. But yeah. with like a lot of similarities in terms of like. Yeah. The same kind of deities and gods or summons, if you will, you know. There's always a character named Sid, which is funny. Every single, like, uh, he's usually a mechanic of sorts. Yeah. It's a different Sid every time, but there's there's always a Sid. There's a little more dark fantasy style the, to like, this the one. Most, this is the most adult game I yeah. think they've ever made. In terms of, like, more towards, like gory, adult. Um, it's a full British cast as well. They're going very, like, dark fantasy. Yeah. Which is like a realm that they haven't really stepped into. They stepped very much into like fantasy realm, whatever dark fantasy, you know. They've kind of like balanced on the edge of that with the MMO a little bit. But yeah, no, this when I watched this, I was so upset because I fuck because it's only going to be on PS5 and yes, I'm I re- I want to play this game so bad because it looks so good. The graphics look insane as well. The story's great. Uh, if you're looking for a Final Fantasy to hop into, I do recommend um, Final Fantasy VII the remake. The I remake. Okay. love. Yeah, I love um, Final Fantasy X. That's my favorite game. It's turn-based. Mm-hmm. A lot of their turn-based games are great. If you enjoy turn-based RPGs, they are fantastic. Final Fantasy XV was where they did try to go. That's their first time going like active, hack and slashy kind of combat like this. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. It's funny because I played the crap out of Final Fantasy 15. I loved it. And you can see quite a bit of the influence of the combat evolving mm -hmm. from that because that was their first ever, like I said, not turn-based kind of mechanics thing. Um... And yeah, that whole like dashing around, like like almost like the teleporting that you see that you saw in the in the trailer of like the gameplay, like fighting. That's a lot from the the previous game as well. So it's nice to see that they took the camp the combat and they just evolved it and made it a lot more fluid, a lot more like um, hack and slashy, which was good. Because yeah, I, I like that. The combat was good in fifteen, but it was a bit bare bones. So it looks like uh -huh. they really like made that a lot better. Then there's the icon fighting, which is freaking sick. Like that just looked insane. I don't know if you saw some of the icon fights, yeah. like summoning these giant things and then you get to like be a giant thing and fight another giant thing and it's a uh, it's just like epic on a whole new scale i'm so excited for it i'm so, like it will get a pc release eventually but they're not even thinking about it right now i i, I know that for a fact they said yeah. so a while ago that it's, it's not even on the table right now yeah so it'll probably like be like a year or more before that comes to pc man uh next gen they're, they're, they're focused very hard on that so it's no, there's no ps4 release as far as i know it's just yeah ps5 Next gen only, yeah. Yeah, I really want to play it. Uh, yeah, like you, I don't have a PS5. I mean, I don't have even Xbox Series X for that matter. Um, I, I do want to play it, but yeah, I'll have to wait till either later on when I get a PS5 or whenever this comes out on PC, you know. Mm. Um, but it's kind of the first one. I mean, I've always been interested in Final Fantasy because it just looks cool. I just never, you know, played any, so I didn't feel like getting into it. But this this kind of looks like a good place to start, you know. Yeah, they've always had, like, every, like, not all, maybe not all of them, but most Final Fantasies have always had, like, a lesson behind the story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know what I mean? Always about, like, the world taking itself back, you know what I mean, and nature and things like that. So I wonder if there's going to be any lesson. Like, I don't think there's any lesson like that in this game. This game just looks like a dark fantasy. There's going to be some, like, there's going to be a lot of sad things happening. You know, we're going to see a lot of tragic stuff. I, I can see that. I hope this, fa I hope this Final Fantasy rips my heart out, because... They tried to do that with 15, and um, there was one of the your love interest or like the 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 princess essentially in the game. She dies, mm -hmm. but everybody I know that played the game didn't really care because they didn't like show us enough of her character. Mm -hmm. and she was in the movie, and you could watch the movie to like see more of her. But it's like in the game, you barely see her, so you don't really give a crap. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I hope they. I, I think the story is gonna kick ass, um, and just the graphics look so sick, man. I'm so. I'm so stoked for this. I, I'm going to have to, like, borrow a buddy's PS5 just for, like, a week or two and just binge it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, all right. Moving on. Um, this is uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie came out uh, I think yeah. a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. I saw it. I mean, I posted this on, on Twitter, like, probably an unpopular opinion, but, like, I thought it was okay. Um, you know, it has, it has moments, but in general, it was like the, the story is very thin. Uh, I think it's a lot of like Easter egg stuff and a lot of cool. I mm -hmm. saw this because this is from, you know, this is from Mario Kart and this is from Donkey Kong and this is, you know what I mean? Um, but in general it's, it's okay. But, but as far as like box office wise, it's killing it. It's, you know, it's, oh I yeah. Think in the U.S., it's crossed 400 million. I think worldwide, it's crossed 866 million. It's the most, you know, made the most money out of any video game adaptation. So obviously, it's, it's a huge I success. The, yeah, I think it's the most watched movie in like more than 12 dozen countries, which is doing the math. That's like more than 24 countries across the world where it's number one. You know? Yeah, I feel like it's kind of just uh, because of. The IP, I don't you think know? they'll make a sequel. I think they'll make a sequel and it's going to be meh. Kind of like the Sonic sequel, which was all right. I don't think that they'll make a Oh, I like the Sonic movie, sequel. You, know? you didn't like the Sonic sequel? I, I, I enjoyed it, but I don't think... I don't, I don't, did they make money on that? Because it's like, I don't yeah. know if it, it... For me, it was very like, okay. You know, I didn't have a bad time. I had a pretty good time, but like... I don't, it wasn't as good as the first movie. The first one was really good, you know? Yeah, I think the first one had a little more story to it, but uh, I, I enjoyed both. Um, I, I actually, mm -hmm. you know, weird for me to say because I was so against the live-action Sonic movie in the beginning. 
But um, well, I mean, to be fair, it looked disgusting. You know, I, I, even before then, even before we saw the, the idea, the, the creepy. Like, yeah, it's like, it's like okay. why yeah. are you making? I thought they should have gone the Super Mario route and just made it completely animated. Oh, CGI, but, yeah. But I was wrong because I quite enjoyed the the two Sonic movies. I I like them more than this Super Mario Brothers movie. But it doesn't matter what I think because this movie is a juggernaut, and they're definitely going to make a sequel. Oh, definitely, uh, yeah. It, they're making so much money, you know, and it's like. But I, you haven't, I will you haven't say seen it yet. Is, the, yeah, no, but I do have a hot take about um, Peaches. <laughs> Jack about Black Peaches? song, which is supposedly being oh, nominated yeah, for yeah. an Oscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a great song, but Oscar nominated, yeah. man? Come on. I mean, they're going to submit Oscar for it, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I do love it. I love Jack Black, and I think it's a great song, and he really went all the way, because I think they asked him for, like, a short 30 second thing and he was like no we're making i'm making a whole ass song about it they had to like convince him because at, at first he was against it he didn't want to like mix tenacious d and that with it but then they like convinced him and he's like oh it's a part of bowser that you know people get to see is like more possessive creepy side i guess but um yeah man good song but not i don't think it's gonna i don't think it's oscar worthy <laughs> on a side note did you see dungeon and dragons yet no, I don't think that's good. Gonna come out in South Africa. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to wait for like a DVD release or like a streaming release or something. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I like it. I have a feeling it's I not quite coming enjoyed out it. here. I am gonna check out. Um, isn't uh, Guardians of the Galaxy coming out soon? Yes, yes. I'm see yeah, I'm wanna, seeing. I'm seeing it yeah. next week. Next Thursday. Yeah, I want to check that out. I, I watched Quantum Mania. I enjoyed it. I don't know why the review on it was so bad. I saw IMDb gave yeah. it like a six point something. I didn't care. I mean, no, no, I didn't care for it. Yeah. How about this? I was mixed on it. I was mixed on Ant Man Quantum Mania. I was like, okay, there's some cool parts, but in general, I was like, okay, it was. It was... I enjoyed it way more than Doctor Strange. I thought Doctor Strange was ass in comparison to this. Like like a lot like a lot of CGI dropped the balls. Like look, I enjoyed Doctor Strange, but there was uh, the new movie. But it was there was some parts where the CGI looked really bad. Whereas the CGI in Ant Man, at least that looked pretty. Like I didn't see them drop the ball. Oh, you know I, I mean? didn't. I, I didn't care much for the CG in in Ant Man. Mm. Everything just looked like it was shot on a virtual stage, which it was. I I mean I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. The yeah. Ent- <laughs> I don't think there was any real parts except yeah. for like right in the beginning and the end. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I find that a little troublesome because like if you watch like something like the mandalorian which is shot on virtual production um you still get a sense of like real like not realism but like tangible items because they make like actual sets and then they use the the virtual production in the background to like extend it so that you have like this you know how like green screen is yeah but uh i think for ant-man it was like everything was just cg created you know yeah, the Mandalorian was sick though because they incorporated like Unreal Engine using like that. The 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 techniques they used to film that was so sick. Yeah. Oh man. So all right, uh, let's move on. Uh, we mentioned this up top. Dead Island Two has come out. It's it's on uh, Xbox uh, and PlayStation and PC, but PC it's not on Steam. It's I, I believe it's on the Epic Store only. Yeah, Epic at least exclusive, for now. Exclusive, yeah. Well, and once again, people are complaining about launcher exclusivity. Not as if it like takes you two seconds to just click a button to open up a different launcher. Yeah. Um, but it's come out and it's got like kind of mixed reviews, but like yeah. mixed to positive, I would say. Like IGN gave it a seven. A lot of people are saying it's like there's nothing new here. Um, you're not gonna like mm. play any. The game mechanics are very familiar, but it is actually fun, which you know that's kind of the point. <laughs> of the game okay yeah uh they'd say there's the story is not really great but they do say some characters are kind of funny um within it that keep you entertained and so it's entertaining um and i guess that's kind of what i'm looking for from it uh i probably will maybe get this later on when it's like on sale later you know probably yeah. not gonna get this full price but like I, I, I could see myself paying 30 for it um also we have jedi survivor coming out next week uh like i keep saying i still need to finish hogwarts legacy so and jedi survivor is looking very very good um but dead island 2 i think i will get it i just won't get it right now i I definitely feel like i need to wait a little bit you know 
same not 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 my priority i'm gonna play it also just not my, not a priority right now it i was looking forward to it but but i was expecting great things you know oh, okay i'll be honest i was expecting it to be like addictive awesome but mm -hmm. from the reviews man it does seem a little lackluster like it'll be fun but uh like goofy fun kind of stuff you know what i mean yeah i'm a sucker also for open world games especially open world games mm. i mean that have like really good locations and set pieces i know and also this is set place where i live or set in where i i live so that you know also yeah. helps so but yeah well that, that's always cool like i, I want uh, i definitely want to check that out like i love playing grand theft auto just because i also lived in la so it was nice to see all the areas you know yeah, so, so I definitely I'll check it at some point. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely will be getting this at some point. I just, I know, especially yeah, the timing were... too, the timing yeah. of it being like a week before Jedi Survivor, and then I think Red Falls coming out also uh, sometime end of May, I believe. So yeah, this has got multiplayer though, right? Yeah, co-op multiplayer. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say like that. That's gonna be a good goofy fun then. Yeah. Though I am looking more, I'm more looking forward to Redfall for like mm -hmm. co-op fun. To, yeah. look, you know. Um, so speaking of Star Wars Jedi Survival, yes, it's coming out next week. They released a final gameplay trailer that's uh, less story based. There is still a little story to it, but it's definitely showing off uh, more of the combat and, and the kind of exploration and whatnot. It looks good. Um, the one thing that came out um, as this is about to be released next week is that it's huge. Um, on PC, it is 155 gigs 155 gigs red dead redemption 2 is 150 gigs and this is 155 gigs i was i was gonna say i've already like mentally got to start preparing what i have to delete on my hard drive to make space for it yeah i mean i already had cleared out cyberpunk uh 2077 even though the dlc is probably coming sometime this year Elden Ring I have not cleared one I haven't played New Game Plus plus the DLC is also going to come out who knows yeah, it's this year, I mean respect respectively from other games the Elden Ring is not that big I think it's like 30 gigs or something or you know what I mean No I think or it's more than 30, that tops. No I think it's more than that Elden Ring is pretty big like the world is pretty big I think it's like 80 or something like that 70 or 80 I can't remember Um but either way 150 i don't i'll tell you right now i do not have 155 gigs on my hard drive to play this game so i don't know what i'm gonna do uh let's see okay yeah. elden ring is about 50 which i guess is fair yeah so i'm gonna have to clear out some stuff but i just don't know what man i i struggle as well because there's a lot of games that i'm playing i'm like i i am replaying final fantasy 7 remake at the moment mm -hmm. and that's also like a 120 gig game <laughs> and i'm still like taking my time with uh, i'm replaying marvel spider-man again and that's also like a 100 gig game <laughs> they just keep adding up man yeah. these games are so big i just uh Oh, well, I got I, I just got to invest in another SSD or just focus on one game at a time. You know, what? yeah, that's I think that's I, I think that's what I should do as well. I have all that's these a more realistic installed. approach. Yeah. Um, also, we like we mentioned, the red red fall is coming out, but mm -hmm. there is kind of like a lot of backlash. One, you know, when they re had released uh, kind of the gameplay footage that people had got hands on with, there was some kind of, you know, a little uh skepticism to how good the game will be they dropped another thing that kind of had some backlash which is that at launch on uh the xbox series x 4k but only 30 fps there's only going to be quality I mean, mode um oh oh only only quality mode so they're going to do a 60 no fps mode. Only they, okay, that's. They said they're gonna do performance mode later. Um, the Xbox Series S will only do 1440p at 30 fps. Um, yeah, and later they will Oof. add a 60 fps mode. So, yeah, it's uh, Redfall. It's yeah, it's coming May 2nd, which is actually not that far away. So that's just one week after um, Jedi Survivor. You know, obviously I have Game Pass, so it's it's a no-brainer for me to download it and play it. It's just that uh, 
people's excitement has been a little tempered now with with kind of a yeah, i mean i'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm sure on pc it's not going to be locked in at all like, no, no no i'm sure i'm going to be playing at 165 fps i'm going to be godlike compared to these <laughs> to these console peasants yeah. they're 30 fps yeah i don't think we're going to be uh <laughs> i don't think our fps is going to be much better no. Because uh, if you think about yeah, it, re re realistically, I'll probably be playing it at like 60 FPS with uh, 1440p, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because the Xbox Series X is actually more powerful than our mm. card. Uh, I think the Xbox Series S is about, just, the, just slightly, about though, the same. Just slightly. Just around where our card is. So, um, yeah, that's another thing that's kind of taken a look. I mean, the good thing that it, it is coming on Game Pass. So if it is still good word will spread because people will play it and you know if people oh, yeah. are enjoying it, it it will you know get around and there's no kind of for people who have game pass which is a lot of people there's no inherent risk for you to just download and play the game so um just i'm really looking forward to it though I, as a co-op experience i think it's going to yeah. be a good like i said i'm part of a discord server that just plays games from game pass and we're we're looking forward to it it's going to be a really good time yeah. so all right um speaking of xbox uh there's kind of a rumor going around let's see well, actually it's not a rumor it's it's from a document uh, during this whole kind of Microsoft versus Sony over the acquisition of Activision Blizzard, there's a lot of legal paperwork coming out. I mean, there's just so much of it, you know, it's hard to keep on top of it. But apparently, um, Axios's Stephen Totillo, uh, basically, he's the first person that saw this document that basically refers to uh, a AAA exclusive sequel to a popular franchise that Microsoft's working on and maybe taking a decade to develop. So people aren't sure exactly what they're talking about. They don't know maybe that it's Elder Scrolls 6 because maybe it's probably already been in the works for a while and it might not be coming out for a long while. Um, so perhaps that's what they're talking about. I just I don't know what else it could be. Right? If they're talking about something that took like a decade to work on, that's a sequel? I genuinely have no idea. <laughs> I, I couldn't for the life of me think about what it could be. What's what's your best guess? Um, Triple A sequel. I mean, either that or... The thing is, they, they acquired out, so much. They acquired five, so much recently. Yeah. Or, or if things are going really bad... And Perfect Dark is going to take, like, <laughs> even longer, you know. Could be. That's Could just be. kind of my, my guess is of, like, what um, it could possibly be. Do you think but it'll yeah. be, like, an old school X? Do you think it'll be old school Microsoft IP? Or do you think it's going to be of some of their new IP that they've purchased? I think newer be just because yeah. if you're spending 10 years to develop something it's got to be something you're you're pretty sure uh, yeah i don't think it'll be i mean i don't think it'll be anything bethesda related because bethesda's got their plates very much full for the next like 10 20 years or whatever or because they're doing do you, starfield and they're doing all the scrolls and this is my thought too is what if they're talking about starfield what if they're just saying look it took a long time to oh they could though, straight up just be talking about it yeah because it's this forthcoming title. Starfield's not out yet, right? It's not coming out until mm. the end of this year. Number two, you know, we've known that that Bethesda was working on a, a space version of, of Elder Scrolls slash Fallout. But we didn't, you know, it might have started way before than what we know, you know? So, oh, for sure. It probably did, you know? You know? And we've already tacked on, like, another year from when it was supposed to be, you know, I mean, I can I can only and, hope... And then I can we, only hope that it's something like uh, StarCraft Three. You know, that's uh, I can have a small hope because they own Blizzard. Maybe they'll give us StarCraft Three. You know, uh, the guy can dream, Dennis. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, then again, right. I don't think it would take. I don't think it would take that long to make StarCraft Three. It would probably take like two years tops, to be honest. Yeah. 
Um, all right, uh, moving on. This is something we talked about, but just to, to follow up, we had talked about how Sega and uh, I believe it was like Ubisoft and Tencent had, had uh, pulled out of E3 oh, and yeah. that they had can't. I think at that time it when we had talked last, it had, they hadn't canceled it yet, but we're like, they're probably going to cancel it soon. And then they the day did we release that. Yeah. Literally the day we released the video. Yeah, they, I think after canceled. we published it, it was like, oh, it's canceled. Yeah. And it just sounds like there's going to be no more E3 ever again. Like, ever because, again, yeah. Um, which is kind of sad. I quite enjoyed E3. It was fun. Um, but I guess with all this, with COVID and all the kind of streaming stuff that happens with like the Game Awards and Summer Game Fest and State of Play and Sony not being part of it and Microsoft doing it's their own stuff. Studios, it's just, yeah. Studios aren't seeing the return on E3, you know what I mean? No. They're seeing they're seeing much better marketing from doing online shows and stuff like that, doing their own their own showcases, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it seems that seems to be the the way things are getting handled. They save a lot of money that way and get the same kind of impact. Yeah. So I I, I do think it's kind of sad because I think it was a very cool, you know, event. Um, oh yeah. And you know, doing the online thing is cool, but you kind of don't get that you know, the crowd and stuff. I, I still remember being at and the game uh, testing and all the cool stuff like that. You yeah. Know? I remember being at the Xbox showcase and when Keanu Reeves came out, you know, for cyberpunk, it was like pretty, oh, pretty yeah, cool. Oh yeah. That must've been so hype. Yeah. yeah. So hype. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but, oh, well, you're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. Yeah. yeah. You watched that moment live, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So a little sad. Uh, but it's probably something that was. I, I think it was inevitable. Yeah. yeah, we saw it happening. It started. It was downsized every year. It was kind of downsizing, you know. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Moving on. Sony acquires a AAA multiplayer developer, Firewalk Studios. So kind of in this I'm arms race. The people that made Firewalk. Firewalk. <laughs> yeah. um, Which I found so- quite boring. Yeah, never played it, but it's just another kind of. When did they become AAA, though? Um, let's see here. I guess like the game that they're making is gonna be AAA, AAA most likely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is just another example of you know Microsoft and Sony kind of doing an arms race right just with studios instead of nuclear weapons they're like all right i'm gonna go you know we're gonna get bethesda okay i'm gonna buy you know bungie or i'm gonna buy you know activision blizzard oh well we're gonna buy this company and so now it's, it's, it's it must it's, be new because i can't see them having done any games in their past yeah or is it just not showing up on google right now uh, let's say uh, independent trilogy. Oh, Call of Duty, Destiny, Apex Legends. Hey, let, wait, that can't be right. It says they're part of uh, probably monsters. What is probably monsters? Changing the ways. I mean, I guess it seems like just, yeah. I guess it seems like people that worked there worked for worked on other big games, but I mean, yeah, I've never heard of them. I thought it was. I'm just. I assumed it was the people that made the game Firewalk. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, that was Firewatch. Oh my god, yeah, that game was boring. I couldn't get into it. That's interesting. So yeah, who is this? Uh, this oh, studio I see. Thing I see. I, yeah. So they're part of probably Monsters, which was founded by former Bungie CEO Harold Ryan. So AAA yeah. multi multiplayer developer. Yeah. So okay. Okay, I see. So they they have had their hands in things like Call of Duty, Destiny. So it's it's going to be multiplayer related, as yeah. of, of course. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Like I said, they're just everyone. Both sides are like stocking up, and Nintendo's just like, <laughs> oh, we're just right. going to do our own thing. They lost Call of Duty. Of of course, Sony's doing this. They lost Call of Duty. Remember? Yeah. They need uh <laughs> they need their own first person shooter now. They'll make they'll make their own Call of Duty. Exactly. I think that's what might be happening right here. To be honest. Because uh, they did have their hands in Call of Duty, so it makes sense. Here's uh, another, not sad piece of news, mm-hmm. but a little disappointing. Arcane Season 2 won't be ready this year. Um, it's a big bummer, dude. I really thought it was going to come out this year. Because it's like, you don't want the hype to die out completely, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it came out, the end, I believe, the end of 2021. 
and we mm. knew it wasn't going to come in 2022 because I think they weren't. Uh, they actually didn't know it was going to be a hit. To be honest, yeah, they were like, oh, so. But because of that, they didn't start on season two yet. And now they're start not now, but they've already started in season two. But like, mm. it's the process is it takes a lot longer. Very long, yeah. So. We won't be seeing it this year. So. That's the price you pay for quality, man. Yeah. That's the price you pay for quality. Yeah. Literal disappointed, just but get, at the same yeah. time. This gives you a reason to rewatch the show right before it comes out, kind of thing, you know? I did rewatch it recently with a uh, friend. Did you? Who, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Um, Here we go. This was uh, an April Fool's joke, but it ended up being like. A, uh, positive April Fool's joke. So there was a game that uh, Sega released called The Murder of Sonic he the Hedgehog, and it has yeah. like, it's like has like over a million downloads. It's free. It's free to play, and it's like highly rated. And it's it's not like a game game, right? It's like one of those where it's like it's it's just like kind of graphic still images, and you pick like different decisions and and uh, dialogue choices. You know, it's a it's like a it's a murder mystery, but it's like in a very lighthearted, um, kids friendly type of way. You know, it's like it's like Sonic and his friends that are on a train, and they do like a murder mystery together, and that's it. That's actually yeah. pretty tight. Yeah. yeah, you can get it for free. It's on Steam, so it's uh, a lot of people. Quite, I play, I play, I downloaded, it, I played it a little bit, and it was cool. You know, it's it's very. It would very much. I I don't know if it is compatible, but I would assume so since it's such a low resource game. But like, it looks like such a great um, uh, Steam Deck type of game because it's just you know, it's not like resource intensive. You're looking at pictures. You're just yeah. picking. You know, it's just like sitting and chilling. Probably. You know? I'd imagine it's probably a cell phone release as well. Probably. I would think so because it just seems yeah. so. Yeah. Like. Like I said, it's it's not resource intensive at all. But it was just a cool and very positive received uh, game. Um, I think the last thing I have here is uh, what's coming out on Game Pass. I mean, it's already like end of April, so, so most of these have come out so far, but the the big ones are you had Loop Hero came out, um, Everspace Two, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, which I have on my list but I haven't downloaded yet. It's not too big. It's, it's like it's like twenty five gigs, so it's not that bad. It's short as yeah, it's pretty oh. short as well. The game's pretty short, but like so, it's I think like it's the perfect amount of time for like a game kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, personally, I'm interested in this. Is NHL 23? It came out, but it's a console only because they never made a PC version. So I'm gonna download that. I'm like, I'm an LA Kings fan, and they they're in the playoffs right now. Actually, nice. Uh, I, I went to a couple bars to watch watch them play. Um, I'm gonna go again tomorrow, but uh, they, yeah, I'm probably download on the console and and play it, check it out. Um, and then yeah, and the big thing is May second, Redfall. Which is only two weeks away, so not not nice, too yeah. shabby. I I did try the Minecraft Legends when it came out, mm -hmm. and it seems it seems fun. That. It's it's not my type not my type of game. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like one of those games where you you control like mobs, you control little guys around you. Mm -hmm. It's not what I was expecting when this game was coming out, um, which is unfortunate. I was expecting like almost like a little baby action RPG kind of thing, mm -hmm. you know? but um, it's more like Pikmin. Almost like, like you're you're walking around. And you're just kind of like uh, you're 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 building these things where you summon little monsters and you mm -hmm. walk around. You send the monsters to kind of fight off. Um, it's very bare bones game mechanics. It's a uh, it's it's a bit meh for me. So not my kind of game. I was expecting more from it to be honest. And then I got a couple other small things here. Okay. Um, this is just got nothing to do with tv but i mean sorry sorry and nothing to do with gaming but did you, did you hear they're making a galaxy quest tv show again that's great because i love i think that's awesome movie. i love and, galaxy i love galaxy quest man yeah and i just watched the documentary that paramount uh, plus dude it's gonna be I don't, paramount have you plus. watched the documentary um it's on uh no. it's called it's called never surrender actually my friend uh helped produce it uh roth Cornette. 
she helped produce oh hell it. yeah yeah um so Dude, i yeah. love galaxy quest man so if you love galaxy so, quest check out the documentary uh it's called never surrender sure if you have amazon i don't know if you have amazon prime because i don't know how it works over there but it's we got prime video it's free on amazon prime so nice uh, our prime check. catalog is very small so i'll check if it's on there or not yeah yeah um, but it's called never surrender yeah, and they interview all the people I'm excited about that Galaxy Quest. It's only something that I found like a couple years ago. I didn't, so it's not like I, I didn't get to uh, watch it. I, I saw it actually. in the theaters. I saw it in the yeah. theaters. I'm one of the OG, and I was like, I really like it. And then it didn't do very well in the box office, mm. but then it became like a cult hit after. Just one of yeah, those. So I'm I'm, ex I'm excited for that. That's pretty dope news. Uh, this is also like not gaming related, but just a little bit of cool information that I think is cool, which is that Amazon Prime uh, Prime Video. Funny, we we're just talking about it. They're working on a new feature that's gonna like help you so that you can hear dialogue. Because you know when you're watching a movie, yeah, and you just you can never hear what the fuck they're saying, and the explosions are too loud, and you. Can... So they're working on like a specific type of uh, uh, tool that'll actually allow you to boost just dialogue specifically, mm -hmm. nothing else. And I think that'll actually be cool. And I hope that can be implemented into other things too. Cause that's my, I mean, I hate that. I hate that. I like that. I can't hear what people are saying sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that's why I have subtitles. Uh, Monster Hunter now is basically Pokemon go, but Monster Hunter and it's made by Niantic. And we all know that no one's going to play it. And the fact that Niantic, Niantic is still a company surprises me because Pokemon Go is it's got a community they're going, you know, but. I think uh, I think they are suffering a bit, you know. I don't think this Monster Hunter. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it'll do well. But you know, who knows? We might get surprised. I think people are just over the whole AR walking around with your phone, catching things, stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unless they change up the mechanics a bit, I guess. Oh yeah, so the Dark and Darker. I don't know if you heard about them. They're um, they've made like uh, they've made a few games. Uh, also like roguelite card late card games and stuff like that little turn-based rpg kind of thing their newest game they've been like i think they've been sending out like links on twitter for people to pirate it because they're in an issue with their like they're in a legal fight right now i think with the, the their parent company or the p or their distributors i'm not too sure there's like a legal battle going on uh, and they got it delisted from like steam there's a big a whole big thing uh going on about it and People are essentially uh, throwing around links to pirate the game to play the game to like mm. beta test it and stuff like that. It's uh, it's an it, it, it's actually very uh, there's a lot more going on. Uh, it's iconics exactly talk about all of it. It involves a lot of DMCA stuff. So if anybody is interested in that, a lot of legal issues going on there about mm -hmm. a fight between I guess a developer and their distributor possibly or their owner. I'm not too sure. Um, and this is funny. So Square Enix is, tr is tripling down on their blockchain technology. And the overall um, take from the community is they don't care as long as Final Fantasy 16 is good. That's literally the, the entire community right now. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, blockchain bad. Final Fantasy 16, good. <laughs> so, we, so no one really cares about um, Square Enix doing their blockchain stuff. I, I looked into it as well. And from what I can understand, it doesn't make sense either because it's not even really for trading use. Um. Mm. So I, I don't I don't get I don't really get it but I don't once again I am on the same path of uh, same kind of path of thinking thinking as everyone else as long as the game's good I, I don't care man as long as Final Fantasy 16 is good um oh yeah so the um there's this dude who uh this this famous Nintendo hacker I don't know if you heard about this guy uh Gary Bowser right like years ago. What was it? He, he was a Nintendo hacker. What game was it that he was hacking? I completely forgot about this. Let me just double check real quick. Um, he was indicted in 2020. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's basically so it was like a ring of like pirated games and stuff like getting a, essentially a place to get all your pirated games for like mm -hmm. old Nintendo games and stuff like that, like old emulators and ROMs. And essentially the guy, I think his first fine was, a, yeah, it was, it was $4.5 million that he was fined. And then, like, later, another 10 million in additional mm -hmm. fire, uh, files. Obviously, he's not going to be able to pay that. So the, the settlement that they came to was that um, he's going to have to pay, like, 25 to 30% of his income. Uh, he, so he doesn't have to pay all of it. Like, he was he's legally required to pay 30% of his income towards this debt for the rest of his life. And people worked it out where it's, like, I think it's, like, in order to, like, pay this debt off, he has to... At, the, at that 30% thing, he has to make like 45 million or something Jeez. for the rest of his life. But he's going to be doing this for the rest of his life. He's going to be paying 30% to Nintendo because he's 55 already, I think. 
So literally until the yeah. day he dies, this man's going to be paying 30% of his Jeez. money to Nintendo, which is brutal, yeah. Um, Skate is getting uh, beta testing for consoles for the first time, I think, uh, which is exciting because uh, this game, I haven't heard uh, heard from it for in a while, and I'm looking forward to it coming out. It's going to be free to play. I'm a big fan of Skate. I've been trying to get into the playtest for a while mm -hmm. now, so I'm hoping now that they're doing playtesting again, I can sneak my way in. Some I'm going to lie and say that I'm part of Europe. Maybe that'll <laughs> help me. I don't know. I think that's where, like, you do the questionnaire, and I think when I say South African, I think that's where, like, nah. Yeah, like, <laughs> they, yeah. they just write me off, yeah. If I could be on the European servers, that might help. Um, right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I already mentioned this in the beginning, but uh, Diablo 4 is adding a final beta test on May 12th, which is when uh, The Legend of Zelda game comes out. Um I'm obviously going to... I, I, look, I'm looking forward to Legend of Zelda, but I'm a diehard Diablo fan. So I'll be playing Diablo 4 uh, that for that A lot of positive things from the beta and what people are oh, saying. Yeah. Which is, you know, remember they had the whole backlash with the... Was it Diablo Immortal? The the, the one that was like yeah. basically pay to play. Pay to win. Yeah, pay and they, to win. Promised, they promised, Dennis, they promised it wouldn't be pay to win. At yeah. E3 of all places years ago when they announced it. That's... But hey... Um, so, yeah, but it, supposedly it a lot more positive stuff coming yeah. from from Diablo Four. Mm, yeah, my friends play the last beta test. My friends played it and they binged it. They loved it. They said that they had a great time. You know, mm. so I'm looking forward to that. I hope it has controller support because Diablo Three on PC doesn't have controller support. Um, which, like, you, I mean, look, traditionally, yeah, you do play it with a mouse and keyboard kind of thing. But I, re I actually quite enjoyed playing it with controller Diablo Three worked really well with the controller on the console games uh really well uh but diablo things like diablo 2 you can't really play on a controller there there is a control like schematic to play diablo 2 i think because it's out on like the nintendo switch and stuff but i'd still rather play that with like a mouse um anyways yeah it's looking good man i'm looking forward to it um uh, oh one other thing i forgot to mention just because i you know I didn't play the game, but the DLC for Horizon Forbidden West, I think it's coming oh, yeah. up soon, Burning Shores. So, mm -hmm. I'm know, sure there's a lot of people. People say that, like, yeah. a lot of people say like, it was like kind of the forgotten game of last year because everyone was up on Elden Ring and God of War oh, last yeah. year. And like, and it, it, is a, it is a great game though, apparently. I keep forgetting that I can play it on PS4. Like for some reason in my mind, I thought it was next gen only. But I can just go buy it on my PS4 and play it because I do the the story. I I fell in love with the story of that game. The mechanics are great too, but mm -hmm. I, the overall story, the mystery element, I can't wait to find out more about society and things and what happened to humanity and shit like that. Yeah. Um. All right. Do you have anything else you want to talk uh, that's about? That's all. all. That's right, all cool. I got. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, like I said, this coming few weeks, there's gonna be a lot of. Oh, stuff. Atomic Heart. Sorry, I did. I did eventually get into to Atomic mm -hmm. Heart. Um, I was. It's funny, man. You know, as someone who has finished Elden Ring multiple times now, I cannot play Atomic Heart, and like, I I don't know why I'm just bad at it. And I let my friend play it, uh, my friend Jade, and she just like dominated. Mm -hmm. And I was, I felt so like uh, so humiliated. I was like, oh my god. I, I I guess it's just not my game. The yeah. thing is, the game looks really interesting. I was enjoying it. I was just really the not visuals are it. cool. I like the world oh, and yeah. everything. I played a little bit of it, and um, but definitely it's you know, I don't know. Maybe I just suck as well like you, and like I just man, I need that third person killed. camera to help me out. You know, <laughs> yeah, I was getting, I was getting killed. Um, I keep like getting attacked from behind and not and like not knowing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the low level people just kicking my ass. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is it is it it's definitely a good game. I just need to get good, you know. That's yeah. what I just need to get better at it for sure. All right, cool. Um, all, all right. right. So uh, thanks for everyone who's been watching or listening. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtubecom slash revog. You can find us. I think uh, Anchor FM has now. Been it's basically Spotify for podcasts now. So you can find us, I think on Spotify, uh, now, uh, you can also find me on Twitter at think hero, Instagram, Dennis T Z N G Twitter took away. Well, they took away not just mine, but they took away, uh, like everyone's, everyone's verifi blue marks, ver yeah. Yeah, verified. So if you don't see the blue mark anymore, it's still me. Um, I'm, I might change the name cause I think was, um, 
was the name when I had that YouTube channel that I don't really do anymore. So uh, you thinking I'm, of paying that five dollars? No, 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 blue check? no, 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 no. I'm talking about just making it. Just the re actually the reason why I hadn't changed the name was because when I got verified, it was using that uh, that Think Hero name, and you couldn't change it because if you change it, you would lose it. Uh, yeah. But now that it, I lost it anyways, I might just change it. I, I, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Anyways, yeah. uh, where can people find you? You guys can find me on Twitch at It's Thespis, or lowercase. There should be a link in the description below. Once I get to 100 followers, I will be streaming daily again. I promise you guys, or at least twice to three times a week. You guys can find me in the Revog Discord channel, where I'm more than happy to talk about video games, anime, movies, whatever you guys feel like talking about, or even if you guys want to try to... Uh, do some community games sometime, you know? Cool. All right. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Later.